Hey girls and guys. All right, so today we are going to do that DIY I promised you from the last video. If you missed that last video, we did an outfit of the day or a hot look of the day featuring this particular t-shirt. It was a cute little rocker chic look that you can pull off pretty much anywhere. And I promised that I would show you how I made this particular shirt. This is actually an old t-shirt that I got years ago after unfortunately Michael Jackson passed away and I found it at Target. The problem is the neck of the shirt, the neck hole is so small and I bought it before obviously I went natural and it was already hard to pull over my head as it is. So now it's even harder. And if you are a natural girl, you know when you put something over your head that's really tight, you just basically mess your hair up because then it's like frizzes out. So I haven't really worn this shirt. I wanted to share my little DIY project with you because it's super easy and you can basically take any old crew neck shirt or new crew neck shirt that you want and basically make a boat neck style collar without, you know, like that, that big ugly scoop thingy like that. Ugh, no. Um, yeah, so you can do it off the shoulder. You can just make it wider like I did here. In fact, in my opinion, it makes it more feminine and sexy because you open up your collarbone and it's like, yes. All right, so if you're excited to see this video and maybe if you learned something, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get inbox notifications every time we upload a brand new video and you don't miss anything. Okay, let's get started. All you need is a couple things. You just need a good pair of shoes or scissors and of course your crew neck shirts so you can make your shirt as open as you want you can kind of do a boat neck collar without the little scoop like the little cow's neck we're not trying to go there but you want to be careful not to cut too much off otherwise your shirt's going to fall off of your shoulders now you can actually cut it kind of uneven like asymmetrical just a little bit and you can give yourself a little shoulder room on the side because that's kind of cute too you can do it a bunch of different ways i would first recommend starting with a shirt that you really don't care about just in case you mess up you can kind of use that as your pattern all i'm going to do i have two shirts here one is a black one similar like the one i have on it's actually a bcbg shirt and I really don't want to cut it, but <laughs> it says 2016 on it, so it's okay, I'll use it. And then this is just an old shirt, little crew neck. Both of these are great because they both have tight little openings and they don't fit over my big head. Okay, so it's really easy. This is a crew neck shirt. You can also do V-necks. Those are a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to show you what the crew neck looks like because that is the style that I want. Now, I like to go out about an inch and a half to two inches outside the original collar. And that's going to give me the same result that I have on the Michael Jackson shirt right now. You can go out further and have a shirt that hangs off the side of your shoulder, or you can go an asymmetrical where you go one and a half inch on one side and maybe two or three inches on the other side. Totally up to you. I would start small first and then work my way out because once you cut out so far, you can't go back, but you can always cut more. So we're gonna start about an inch and a half to two inches outside the ring and cut all the way around. And that's it. So this is what your new shirt's going to look like once you put it on, it's going to hang nicely on your decollete, your collarbone, all that good sexy stuff. Now when you wash it, it'll roll up and it'll be really cute and look like it's supposed to be made that way. You can also cut your sleeves and make them more of a tank top. Um, go a little step further, but you don't have to. Yeah, okay, so let's do one more to give you another example. We're gonna do this again. Now this neck is even tighter than the first one. So I'm gonna go out a little bit further and this shirt is going to fit tighter on me in general. So this will sit like kind of on my shoulders. Now I'm going to cut the sleeves off and I'm just gonna cut a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a, you know, distressed feel. So I'm gonna cut about two and a half, three inches off at an angle. Okay. 
Okay, so if you like that, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get inbox notifications every time I upload a brand new video. Okay, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you have anything else to add or any tips to share with everybody else, we would love to hear them. So put those in the comment section down below, as well as let me know if you like DIY projects and want to see more. I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. I'm a dork.